Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with the video going over the new Windows 8 tablets. So of course we've heard and seen a lot about Windows 8 for desktops, laptops, all that kind of stuff. However, now we're finally getting our first good look at what Windows 8 is going to look like on tablets. To start with, let's take a look at the ASUS Tablet 600. Now this is very similar to tablets we have today, such as the Transformer Prime. Inside you're going to find an NVIDIA Tegra 3 quad-core processor, 2GB of RAM, as well as a 10.1 inch display with a resolution of 1366 by 768 If these specs sound familiar, that's because they are. This is a very similar tablet to the ASUS Transformer Prime. In fact, it even has a very similar keyboard dock where you can take it and of course use it in normal tablet mode, but if you want to have an actual keyboard, get a little bit more battery life, trackpad, that kind of thing, you can simply connect it like that. On the flip side, we have the Acer Iconia W700. Now this is a very high-end Windows tablet. So for starters, it has an 11.6 inch display with full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080. Somewhat interestingly, the W700 comes with a cradle. So what you do is you can dock the tablet in there and adjust it to different viewing angles depending on how you want to use the tablet. What really sets the W700 apart are the specs. Inside, you're going to find a full Intel Ivy Bridge CPU. Now, this is probably going to be a Core i5 or a Core i7 just like you would find in an Ultrabook like the MacBook Air. On top of that, it's also going to have three USB 3.0 ports, HDMI out, as well as a Thunderbolt port. Of course, all this is not going to come cheap. The W700 will be on sale later on this year for a price tag anywhere between $800 and $1,000, most likely closer to that $1,000 mark. Now, of course, you do need to keep in mind that this is basically a full-fledged laptop without the keyboard. So you have a very high-resolution display, you have tons of power, and you even have a Thunderbolt port, which is very, very impressive in anything that's not, you know, a MacBook. Now, one very important thing to note is that there are actually going to be two versions of Windows 8 tablets. There's going to be the Windows RT and there's going to be full Windows 8. Now there are two main types of processors running these Windows 8 tablets. There's going to be an ARM processor. Now this is exactly what you're going to find in an iPhone, an iPad, an Android phone, pretty much any of that kind of thing. If it runs one of those processors, it's going to be running Windows RT. Now on the other hand, if it's going to be running a full laptop chip, so for example like Core i5 or even an Intel Atom, it's going to be running the full normal version of Windows 8. The biggest difference between the two is going to be application support. So for example, the ASUS Tablet 600 will only be able to run apps that are specifically designed for Windows 8. On the other hand, Windows 8 tablets such as the W700 will actually be able to run pretty much any app that you throw at it, as it's basically a laptop inside. While this is something to keep in mind, it's actually not that big of a deal. So of course, any app that's not going to be optimized for a tablet is really not going to work well with touch. So of course, you're going to have to hit on those all those little tiny buttons with your fingers. And sure, you can do it, but it's just not going to be anywhere near as nice as an app that's actually designed for the Metro UI. If you guys are interested in more information on Windows 8 tablets, I do have a hands-on of an actual Windows 8 tablet from earlier this year, which kind of shows you a little bit about how it's going to work with the Metro UI and touch screen and all that kind of stuff. On top of that, I just did a video showing the latest version of Windows 8. Of course, it's on a laptop, but a lot of those things, of course, are going to work the exact same way on a tablet. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos on Windows 8 tablets, be sure to subscribe.